Good morning to all. BE 3254 Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering that is a subject given for second semester EC department in Anna University Regulation 2021. It is a three credit paper. For this subject we are going to discuss unitized important questions for slow learners. These important questions are prepared with the help of previous years Anna University question paper. They are April May 2022-23 and November December 2022 and 2023. Unit 1 is Transformer. The following questions are considered as important questions from the previous year question paper. Explain the working principle of single phase transformer. Draw and explain the phaser diagram of a transformer under various load condition. They are resistive, inductive and capacitive. The same question may be asked in some other manner like draw and explain the phaser diagram of a transformer under UPF condition. UPF means unity power factor condition that is for R load. For lagging power factor condition inductive load. For Leading power factor condition, capacitive load. So, second question may be asked in different manner like draw and explain the phaser diagram of transformer under various power factor. In that way also, question may be asked. Explain in detail with the equivalent circuit of transformer. Derive voltage regulation equivalent circuit EMF equation of transformer or problem may be asked to find the voltage regulation equivalent circuit EMF equation. Explain the construction details of three phase transformer with the different types of connection in windings. Different types of connection means star to star, delta to delta, star to delta, delta to star. These are four different types in three phase connection. Sixth one, what is auto transformer? Describe the working of step up and step down auto transformer. Explain functioning of auto transformer. Here both are same and question number 6 describe the working of auto transformer and the functioning of auto transformer both are same question 6 and 7 are same. Question 8 is write short notes on causes and the method to minimize harmonics. These are the important questions from unit 1. Unit 2 is DC machines. What are the needs of starter in DC motor compare 3 point and 4 point starter and draw its connection diagram. To minimize starting current we are using Starters for DC motor already we discussed in classroom session. Three point starter used for shunt motor, four point starter used for compound motor, or three point starter used for armature control method where speed control is achieved less than the rated speed. Four point starter when above the rated speed we need when speed control above the rated speed we have to go for four point starter. We have to compare these two starter. They are 3 point and 4 point and then related circuit diagram should be drawn. Second question is briefly explain the theory of operation of a stepper motor. How the speed of DC motor can be controlled explain any one method in detail. Speed control of DC motor explained in two way. One for shunt motor another one for series motor. For shunt motor both armature control and flux control method involved. Similarly for series motor, flux control and armature control methods involved. Flux control furtherly divided into four armature diverter, field diverter, then tapped field control, paralleling of field coil. These are different flux control method of DC series motor. Student may refer their book to have clarity. Then fourth one explain the working of commutation in DC machine with respect to generator mode. That means in DC generator we are using split rings. If we are using slip ring that will produce bidirectional EMF. To convert that bidirectional EMF into unidirectional EMF we have to use split ring. The name of conversion is called commutation. How we are converting bidirectional EMF into unidirectional EMF that is called commutation. 
So you have to explain how bidirectional EMF is converted into unidirectional EMF with the help of split ring in generator. Then explain the constructional details and the principle of operation of a DC generator also derived EMF equation. Draw and explain various characteristics of DC shunt and series motor. Also write its applications based on their characteristics. Here various characteristics means electrical and mechanical character. Seventh one derive the EMF and the torque equation with circuit model of DC motor. In DC motor output equation is torque equation. EMF equation also asked in DC motor. Student no need to get confusion because back EMF equation is asked for DC motor. Explain the characteristics of brushless DC motor. These are the important questions from unit number 2. Unit 3 is AC rotating machine. These 7 questions are considered as important questions. First one define slip and derive the equivalent circuit of an induction motor. Explain the principle of operation of alternator with its EMF equation. Describe the constructional details of SCIM and SRIM that means scroll gauge induction motor and slip ring induction motor. Also discuss working principle of induction motor. Not if. Name the different types of single phase induction motor and explain its operating principle with the help of neat diagram. Derive the torque equation of synchronous motor with its operation. Highlight the difference between SM and IM. SM means synchronous motor, IM means induction motor. The last one problem may be asked to find the excitation EMF from synchronous motor. Dear students, kindly confirm yourself that induction motor indicate three phase induction motor. If single phase induction motor means that will be indicated specifically like this single phase induction motor. If there is no specification they have been asked simply induction motor means that is for three phase induction motor. Here slip and derive the equivalent circuit of induction motor that means three phase induction motor. Question number three also describe the constructional details of SCIM and SRIM also discuss working principle of IM that means that IM induction motor also indicate three phase induction motor. Here highlight the difference between SM and IM that means three phase synchronous motor and three phase induction motor. Unit four is measurement and instrumentation. There are seven questions are considered as important question. How the MI instrument? MI stands for moving ion. Mo moving ion instrument working. Explain the same by deriving the expression for driving torque. Explain two watt meter method. That is power measurement technique. Question number two is power measurement technique using two watt meter method. Three is with the help of neat diagram explain the functional blocks in the DSO digital storage oscilloscope shortly called DSO. Question number four with the neat sketch describe the construction and working of an instrument transformer for measurement of current and voltage. Fifth one sketch the schematic diagram with the functional elements of an instrument explain the function performed by each of the element. It is available in the introduction part of unit number 4 that is functional elements of an instrument. Describe the operation and working principle of energy meter with its internal components. To measure energy we are using energy meter. There are four constructional detail moving system, driving system, braking system and a recording system. These systems are involved in the operation of energy meter and the last one is draw the black diagram and explain the functions performed by each component of data acquisition system. Unit 5 is basics of power system. There are 10 questions typed here. In these 10, 6 plus 7, 6 mark question and 7 mark questions are shown here. There is no direct 13 mark question. Many of questions provided with split up 6 plus 7. First one, why earthing is important? Explain any two methods of measuring earth resistance. What are the transmission losses? Explain them in detail. Explain the principle of SF6, sulfur hexafluoride. SF6 circuit breakers and mention its advantages and disadvantages. Write short notes on electrical safety and first aids. Draw power system structure and explain briefly. 
see the introduction of fifth unit power system structure that has been asked as a question 13 mark question draw the power system structure and explain briefly then explain the construction details of elcbs with the necessary diagram what is elcb earth leakage circuit breaker is shortly called as elcb discuss the operation of switch fuse unit what is earthing explain any one earthing scheme explain how a fuse rating is selected give an overview on protective devices with short note on each type these are all considered as important questions in all these five units this blue letters are shown in the slide questions provided with the blue letters are to be read compulsorily thank you all